<coughs> hey guys, this is Mrs. Gray and welcome to another video. The video we are reacting to the 10 massive dams failures caught on camera. And I, if this dam comes on here, I will share the story of my experience of a dam that failed like two and a half years ago. Almost three, it will be three years in May, wow. Failure of an overfilled reservoir in California after days of heavy floods to a rare video capturing the exact right moment a 95-year-old embankment dam succumbed to its own weight and know. a catastrophe in Brazil that struck with almost no warning. Here are 10 massive dam failures that were caught on camera. Edenville, oh, no. Michigan is a small community. Yep. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> because, yeah. Um, Edenville, Michigan is part of Midland County, the city that I live. So that's community it. on the eastern banks of the Titabawasi River. About a mile north of the town sits, or sat, the Edenville Dam, that, yeah. which blocked the flow of the Titabawasi and Tobacco Rivers to form Wixom Lake. We say sat because the dam failed in May of 2020. Heavy rain pelted the Edenville Dam and surrounding area, causing the earthen embankment's eastern side to fail catastrophically. The influx of water forced residents in Edenville and Sanford to evacuate as water headed downstream to the Sanford Dam, about 10 miles away. One lucky resident was there to film the moment when the dam initially broke. There it goes. There it goes. It was actually the biggest flooding in Michigan's history. There we go, there's the rush. Michigan. We can see a little water trickling through the earthen dam. Perhaps that was all our cameraman needed to see to know the dam was about to fail. Finally, the pressure builds to its breaking point, and the mud and grass slide forward, releasing all the water. A 502-page report written by an independent forensics team blamed the failure and damage on the original construction and yep. decades of poor management. Had those in charge acted differently, they could have prevented the dam from bursting. Basically, yeah. the people who built the nearly 100-year-old dam took a bunch of shortcuts back in the 1920s. Classic. So, I don't know if the Sanford Dam is going to be on here because the Sanford Dam um, also broke on the same day as Edenville. So, literally, the same as that day because, because of the Edenville. I mean, yeah, the Sanford was going to break in Ray because of the same reason the two people that own but um 10,000 people were evacuated 10,000 people were evacuated because we had a small dam Edenville dam and the Sanford dam all broke Within probably within an hour or two. I literally had to leave work early because I was not getting evacuated. But the surrounding area was of me. Like, think I was, if it got any closer to me, it would have been, I would have to evacuate and we would be going into a shelter. Yeah, they have shelters. I think the water almost up to almost 40 feet of water. Yeah, it sucked. Brumadinho is a municipality in southeastern Brazil, home to just over 40,000 people. It's also home to the Corrego de Feijão iron mine and the site of one of the worst oh. dam failures. And Midland also has, Midland County has about 84, 85,000 people, where the city itself has about 43,000 in history yeah. but instead of holding back water the brumadinho dam was holding back toxic mining byproducts called tailings 
On January 25th of 2019, the Brumadinho Dam collapsed without warning. A massive mudslide engulfed the Iron Man while the employees ate lunch. It spread for miles through the forest before reaching the Paraopeba River. Stationary camera footage really puts the catastrophe into perspective. That's not just another mountainside you're looking at. Oh, the whole this thing still is a tailings dam, way. and it's just After about to fail. Years. The earthen wall collapses, leading to a powerful landslide that wipes out everything in its path. Mud and debris cascade over the tree line before making their way towards the mine. Here, you see the wall of debris push its way across the landscape as workers quickly escape. The dam was owned wow. and operated by a company called Vale, the world's largest producer in iron ore and nickel. They're the same company responsible for another catastrophic failure in Mariana, Brazil, four years prior, but we'll touch on that later. Sadly, the Brumadinho collapse claimed 270 lives, mostly Vale employees. Amid the Midlands, Stanford, Edenville dams and all that, actually did not caused any lives or injuries because of how fast they were moving. That's the only reason why. Otherwise, it would have been pretty much all the 5,000 deaths or something like that. So, yeah. That's the only reason why. They were moving quickly. ...who were enjoying exactly. their lunch when the dam failed. One man, Elias Nunes, made it out alive and sat down with the BBC to recount his harrowing story. Uttarakhand is a North Indian state that is often referred to as Devbhumi, translating to Land of the Gods. The nickname comes from the numerous Hindu temples scattered across the area. It's also a Himalayan state, meaning its people are at the mountain's mercy. In February of 2021, a glacial dam burst high in the mountains, causing massive amounts of water and debris to rush towards the hydropower workers below. Several angles from that fateful day show how mighty the mountains truly are. And guys, should I react to the like, um our dams um and some of that stuff? Should I? Let me know. Looking down there kind of scary. like a group of clouds coming through the valley, but that's just dust and debris rising up off the raging water. The ice-cold water rips through the valley and floods the area below. Perhaps the scariest part is the low, ominous hum coming from the rushing water. A while later, the water made its way to a dam in the valley, quickly breaking through the reinforced concrete. Many argued back and forth over what caused the landslide leading to the dam's failure. Some blamed climate change, and others blamed a domino effect of natural disasters. A June study confirmed that a massive rock and ice avalanche caused the failure and subsequent flood. Ooh. Experts estimate the avalanche was about 27 million cubic meters of rock and glacial ice. The ice melted as it fell, which led to the flood. Dang it. Bad. There are several mega-projects that sounded great on paper, but never saw the light of day. 
The Auburn Cofferdam in Auburn, California is one of those projects. Proposed as a way wow. to... Con that says flood of 80 cents. So, Midland also had another flood. It was a flood. Um, it was back in 1986. And this wasn't even a damn failure. It was just a, one of those floods. And it was the worst flood in Midland County. Or in Michigan. Until the 2020 flood. Control flooding on the American River, the concept of the Auburn Dam was officially born in 1950. It took 18 Ooh. years for construction to finally get off the ground, and it began with a $5.1 million diversion tunnel to reroute the American River through the mountainside. But everything came to a halt in 1975. A 5.7 magnitude earthquake hit the Sierra Nevada area about 50 miles north of the Auburn Dam. Engineers and geologists were concerned that their beloved dam wouldn't survive a similar earthquake. So, they put the kibosh on the project until they could figure something out. By 1979, workers had a foundation and an earthen wow. coffer dam made out of clay, sand, and soil. It seemed as though things were finally starting to get somewhere. But unprecedented rainfall in 1986 okay, that's Water quickly filled the Auburn coffer dam it's to the point that its morning, storage so and diversion capacity was exceeded. Officials fearing a disaster began releasing water from dams downstream, and that's exactly what they got. As excess water poured over the dam, the loose soil quickly began to erode. And while it was designed to do this, it happened at a much quicker rate than anyone expected. Not too long after it first overtopped, the erosion had carved its way into the reservoir itself, greatly increasing the output rate. By 2.30 p.m. on February 18th, nearly half the dam was gone. Ultimately, an even greater tragedy was avoided by the quick thinking of officials to lower the water level of the dam downstream, which was able to hold strong through the disaster. The collapse spurred new interest in building a proper dam, but as of 2022, the Auburn Coffer Dam is a multi-billion dollar money pit that probably won't ever be built. Wow. Ica is a Hungarian city of about 35,000 people. It sits in the hills of the Bakoni Mountains and was the site of a catastrophic tailings dam failure in October of 2010. The dam held back a sea of bauxite residue, also known as red mud, the awesome. byproduct of processing bauxite into aluminum oxide. On Monday, October 4th of 2010, the northwestern corner of the dam failed, releasing about 1 million cubic meters of red mud into nearby towns and villages. Red mud is a toxic chemical soup and, according to some experts, can be radioactive. Aftermath footage from the dam failure should tell you everything you need to know. What looks like an Egyptian plague is what happens when a red mud dam collapses and floods an unsuspecting town. Residents work tirelessly to rid their streets of the toxic sludge, but the mud is literally everywhere. It stains staircases and even covers someone's dog. Between 80 and 90 people went to the hospital for chemical burns, and the flood claimed 10 lives across the area. The following day, Aww. authorities shut down production at the plant and ordered them to repair the dam. By Wednesday, the company chairman said he wanted to resume production over the weekend, and the plant reopened on Friday. The plant boss and 14 other employees were acquitted on negligence charges in 2016, spurring outrage among the local population. Wow. Lushan is a prefecture-level city in Sichuan, China, near the Dadu and Min rivers. Over 3 million people live in the city, putting it between Chicago mm -hmm. and Los Angeles for comparison. Lushan is also wow. home to the giant Buddha statue, which was carved into the mountain in the 8th century and depicts a massive sitting Buddha. But those central Chinese mountains are highly susceptible to landslides during heavy rain. That rain also leads to flooding, which has worsened in recent years. In July of 2019, road workers ran for their lives when a massive landslide crashed down the mountain and smashed through the dam below. Oh, whoa! Dang!
Now that dam may hold back plenty of water, but there is no stopping all those trees and rocks from breaking through. One worker runs as fast as he can, while another jumps from his truck to watch the disaster unfold. They must have assumed they were safe, figuring they'd enjoy the show instead of running from it. Floods got worse in 2020, and emergency workers in Sichuan province rushed to save the giant Buddha statue, which was now up to his toes in water. The 1,200-year-old relic hadn't seen water that high since 1949. Wow. Sai Sombun is a new province in Laos, established in December of 2013. Before 2013, the area was a hotbed for conflict, as the military sought to exploit the indigenous Hmong people for their resources. Since their incorporation, the government and the native people haven't gotten along. Things got worse on September 11th of 2017, when the Nam Ao Dam burst after days of heavy rain. The Dang. flood covered farming fields with mud, destroying entire crops that the farmers had just planted. Some onlookers from a cliff overhead witnessed the water's power that day. We can assume the dam failed only moments before. Muddy water rushes down the river and eventually floods the work site. A backhoe tries to reverse away from danger while two more drivers lay on their horns. But their efforts are to little avail, as the water quickly washes their cars away, leaving them to wait until the flood subsides. Two wow. years after the collapse, 60 families affected by the flood were still awaiting compensation. Dang. Four years before the Brumadinho Dam failure in Brazil, the same company was responsible for another catastrophic failure at a different tailings dam in Mariana, Brazil. On November 5th of 2015, the dam at the iron ore mining complex burst, releasing 43.7 million cubic meters of toxic tailings. The sludge infected the Dosi River and eventually traveled 425 miles through several waterways. The sludge even reached the Atlantic Ocean miles? 17 days after Dang. the collapse. By then, the damage was already done. Left with polluted water supplies, towns and villages up and down the Dosi River were in a humanitarian crisis. The downstream villages of Bento Rodriguez and Paracatu de Baishu took the brunt of the damage, with 19 people losing their lives in the flood. Unfortunately, Bento is only accessible via unpaved back roads. Once they were covered in mud and sludge, firefighters couldn't get into the town to rescue anybody. The dam was owned by a company called San Marco, Meanwhile, San Marco is jointly owned by Vale and BHP Billiton, the Australian mining company. The government brought manslaughter and environmental damage charges against 21 San Marco executives a year later. Then, things got worse when a leaked report from 2013 indicated structural issues with the dam. Dang. Stupid ad. Start playing now. Sirdario is one of the 12 regions that divide Uzbekistan. It sits on the left bank of the Sirdaria River and is home to over 860,000 people. The Sir flows 1,400 miles from the Kyrgyzstan mountains and empties out into the Aral Sea. The Sardoba Reservoir Dam keeps water inside the reservoir, about 922 million cubic meters of it, and uses it for irrigation in the surrounding farmlands and cotton fields. But when the dam failed on May 1st of 2020, all that water spilled out into the fields, causing widespread destruction as far as the northern Kazakhstan border. The camera zooms in on the spot where the Sardoba Dam failed, and we see the water rushing out and flooding the farmlands. Then, some rescue workers wade through the water as they pass a house that's collapsed from the flood. Elsewhere, the destruction is hard to look at, as most homes look like twisted piles of metal. Five days of severe storms caused one of the walls to collapse, and water spilled into the cotton fields nearby. To try and stop the bleeding, authorities opened a gate into the Golodnostepsky Canal. The idea was that the water would flow into a series of lakes and wetlands, but the water overwhelmed the canal and just made the flooding worse. According to Uzbekistan's Ministry of Finance, it'll cost 1.5 trillion som, or a little over $400 million, to repair the dam. Dang. 
St. Johnsbury, or St. J as the locals call it, is a small town in northern Vermont on the banks of the Pesumsic River. In 2006, it was named Best Small Town by National Geographic for its hiking trails and can-do Yankee attitude. Thomas Nowicki was out for his morning stroll when he noticed the river looked more swollen than usual. He decided to film the water when a raging torrent appeared out of nowhere. Tom kept the camera rolling, risking wet shoes on a cold St. J day. Nope, thank you. I'm running out of there. And I have wet shoes. That's the worst. An ice dam just broke. I just started filming that at the right time, huh? Smokes. Holy smokes. Bull. Having wet socks. I never is seen the this worst. before. Literally. Bull. Oh my gosh. Wet socks is. A massive good. wave of ice and water comes rushing down the river and under a bridge. It doesn't look that bad at first, but the water never stops coming. The rising water forces Tom to take a few steps back, and we see how high the current actually gets compared to the bridge. The massive chunks of ice make it pretty clear what happened. An ice dam, also known as an ice jam, broke upstream, releasing all the river water it once held back. When temperatures increase gradually, the ice can slowly melt, allowing the water to flow at a reasonable pace. But if the temperature spikes, the ice dam melts too fast, and you get something similar to what happened in St. J. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another one just like it, then be sure... Yeah, that's crazy. Right, that's crazy. So if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe, don't forget to like, and feel free to share. Now, thank you guys so much for your support. Goodbye.